it's uh, a little bit anxious, you know, energy kind of feeling. It, it, it's hard to, to express it, but you want to bottle it and take it out to practice every day and unleash it on the game day. That emotion describes how Dan Rodaba and the Philadelphia Soul feel about heading into the playoffs. Postseason is a whole nother season, so the whole mindset is different, you know. And you know, it's, uh, they beat us twice in the regular season, so we're looking forward to this. You know, this is where it really matters. The Soul face the Washington Valor this Sunday in D.C., a team they lost to twice this season, but still lead the series 6-3 to three and holds a 4-1 and one record at Capital One Arena. They got some fast guys. They got Reggie Gray, who's a, I feel, arguably one of the best receivers that I've covered in this game. Um, he got speed, he got quickness, um, he has... Everything that you ask for from a, a receiver that size. And they dress six receivers. So, you know, me being playing safety, I have to watch film on all these guys because they're going to send all of them at me. The Valor also have a dual threat quarterback. Arvell Nelson leads the league with 19 rushing touchdowns, but Philly is confident on defending Valor's QB. Arvell's a dynamic player they have back there, and uh, they were really able to capture the energy that he provided in their playoff run for them last year. So we're, we know what they're capable of, but we got some really, really talented defensive backs that are going to be buzzing all over their receivers. So we know Arvell's a good player, and, and, and he can make a lot of plays. But if we're in the right spots, uh, we're going to make his job very difficult. You have to get after him rushing-wise and keep your lanes. You know, he, he's a dual-threat guy. Um, he throws a really good deep ball. And he can rush the football like no other in our league. So he is always a concern when you, you play Washington is uh, where is Arvell and what's he doing. But the sole secondary is tied for the league lead with 16 interceptions. And against Washington alone, they have three picks on the season. I feel we, we have an advantage, you know, overall. I just think that we've been in more crucial situations like this than that. You know, um, you know tough games, we, we rise to the occasion on tough games. Offensively, the Soul have found success. Wide receiver Darius Prince has gone over 100 yards against the Valor in both meetings. And in six career games against Washington, Prince has 596 yards and 14 touchdowns. He has 100-yard games against a lot of guys, but, uh, you know, he's a smart football player and he's aggressive when the ball's in the air. So, uh, it, it, like I said, he makes my job easier, but anybody we put out there are, are playmakers and we trust them all, but uh, Prince is going good for us and we keep him going. They do a lot of unsound things with their defense. Uh, they move. They have a lot of moving pieces in their secondary, and we're taught that if you see an opening, just take it. So a lot of the times, the two times we played Washington, uh, they ran some goofy defense, and I seen an opening, I just took it. Prince and the sole kickoff against the Washington Valor this Sunday at 3.30 p.m.